guys welcome back okay so today I wanted to do something green as you can see and out of all my green palettes I picked the smoke sessions from melt because I have never used this palette before it's one of those palettes where you know you've heard so many different varying reviews and people saying they hate it and it was horrible and all this stuff um, that, you know, you kind of shy away from it. And so that's what I found myself doing with this palette is kind of shying away from it. Although, you know, there are some people that love this palette. So just looking at it, the color story and everything, I mean, I am completely drawn to this palette. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. You know, the warmer gold side and then the cooler light, light minty side. It's kind of like two palettes in one. So... I was really intrigued by this palette and I must say I loved using it. <laughs> I loved it. Um, I didn't have any issues with it. I mean, I just knowing what I had heard from other people, I went in very gently, took my time and just kind of did the tap and blend. I didn't go in with a whole bunch of shadow and trying to do anything crazy i just went in with one shadow here all over my crease blew it out went in with the shimmers that i was drawn to and this is what we have today and i really really like how it came out i feel like these shadows are very nice the shimmers are extraordinary and so i really like this palette but with all that being said this is an older palette i know you guys are familiar with it this is just my first time using it <laughs> so let me go ahead and do some swatches for you just in case you haven't seen this palette before a million times or have seen swatches i'll do some swatches and then we'll go ahead and jump into this eye look So these are all the swatches for this palette. Let me give you a close up look. Super duper pretty. I mean, I love this color scheme. It's just absolutely gorgeous to me. What I will say about Melt's formula, their shimmers are crumbly. They are a bit crumbly. For me, it's not to the point of irritation. Like, I can't work with these. I just know to be gentle with them. And I know that it does not take a lot of product to produce pigment on the lid so if you just go in gently and lightly you'll probably be okay um so for the shimmers they are very delicate very gentle can be crumbly if you're not careful the mattes extremely pigmented you have to be careful with them as well <laughs> or else you could end up with just a pigmented mess so I will say that about melts formula I think I'm just one of those that really loves their formula because I love working with these type of shadows it's like give me pigment or give me death <laughs> okay just that's it I just love extreme pigment so I really like this palette using it for the first time to create this eye look I enjoyed it so if you want to see how I created this eye look today Stay tuned because it's coming up next. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So as usual, I'm using my e.l.f. All Day Stay Eyeshadow Primer. I've been using this primer for a while now. I would say over a month, and I really, really like it. So I'm just using a dense brush to blend that out all over my lids. Now the first shadow I'm going into is going to be Sour Diesel, and it's really a grungy type green now I decided I wanted to just kind of buff this out all throughout my crease and for it to really be just the only color that I used for my crease area so I just tapped in just a little bit as you can see I'm using a fluffy brush and I'm just taking that one tap that I went into the palette for and I'm blending that out all over my lid just using that fluffy brush to blend it out and blow it out all over my lid 
Now for my lid shimmers, I'm gonna go into Gravity OG, gorgeous gold shimmer. As you can see, I didn't even spray my brush. I'm just using a flat brush to kind of carve out the first half of my crease with that gold shimmer. Oh my gosh, you guys, the pigmentation is crazy. And I didn't pick up too, too much. So as you can see, I really don't have a bunch of fallout, even though I didn't spray my brush. So I was kind of surprised about that. Extremely pigmented. Next, I'm going into Mean Green. Beautiful green shimmer. Didn't spray my brush for this one either. Just tapping that right next to that gold and just kind of blending it into the edge, dragging it out throughout the outer crease of my eyelid. This color is so, so pretty, you guys. I love these shimmers. They're so, so pretty. And for me, they're very easy to work with. I mean, I didn't, uh, like I said, I didn't even spray my brush for these. Now I'm just going in, making sure that the gold and green is blended nicely. Now I'm going back into Sour Diesel and just using kind of like a pointed um, blending brush just to tap it in that outer corner and deepen it up a bit. And this is basically it for the eyes, you guys. Very, very simple, quick and easy. Now for liner, I'm using my NYX Black Liquid Eyeliner. And I'm just creating a simple wing for this look today. Now moving on to the face, I'm using my e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. I really like this primer, you guys. It really holds my makeup in place all day. And I actually like the way it feels on my face. I was kind of nervous that it would be too sticky, but I really like it. So I'm going in with some of my e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer today. And I'm using this to conceal the dark areas under my eyes and around my mouth. And I'm doing this before foundation today. I've kind of been doing this lately just to kind of see if I like doing the concealer under my foundation better than on top. And I kind of like it either way. So for foundation, I'm using my Fenty Beauty. And this is a hydrating all day foundation, I believe. Yeah, long wear foundation in the shade 420. And I'm just using a damp paw paw sponge to blend that out. Now to set those areas that I did conceal underneath my foundation, I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I'm just used to doing this <laughs> even when I use my concealer on top of my foundation. I just like to have those areas a little bit brighter on my face. So I'm just using it in those areas where I would normally brighten and conceal on my face before I go in to set the rest of my face with a pressed setting powder. So for the pressed powder, I'm using my L'Oreal. And this is the True Match pressed powder. And I'm just using a soft fluffy brush to set the rest of my face. How many times can I say face in this video? <laughs> Gee whiz. And for bronzer, I'm using my Milani Earth Glow. This is a pressed powder that I like to use for bronzer because to me it's more of a bronzer shade than just a regular pressed powder. It has a little bit of redness to it, so I like to use it to bronze with. Very, very nice, soft, buildable bronzer. I wanted to go in with a little bit more of a contour look today, so I'm using my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette, and this one is in the medium to dark. And as you can see, I'm just taking kind of like a dense brush to kind of add a little bit more depth to my cheekbone area and also my forehead and chin area. Also, I'm doing just a little soft contour for my nose. For blush, I'm using my Cover FX Duo. This is one of the monochromatic duos, and I'm just using the matte blush side 
This one is in the shade Spiced Cinnamon. And I really like this blush, you guys. It's very, very pretty. Now, for my waterline, I'm using one of my Morphe pencils. And this one is in the shade Falling for Green. I thought this would be the perfect color to go with this eye look. And I'm going back into the palette and picking up a little bit of that Sour Diesel on a pointed brush and using that to smoke out my lower lash line, making sure that I keep it very, very close to the lash line and don't go too far down. Now for my inner corner pop, I'm using the shade Granddaddy. This shade is very, very close to Gravity OG, that first shimmer that I put on my lid. So it didn't really make that much of a difference, but it left a nice, pretty hint of gold in my inner corner. So I didn't mind it, even though it was very, very close to that first shimmer. For my lashes, I'm just using my IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara today using that on my upper and lower lashes. For my lips, I went in to line my lips with my Shayla and Colourpop BFF4 Lip Liner. Just a nice deep brown shade. And for my lipstick, I'm using one of my Revolution lipsticks. This one is in the shade Vamp. So it's just like a regular creamy bullet style lipstick. Um, you do have to build these lipsticks up, but they are very nice, as you can see. Very pretty color. Now, I didn't think it was dark enough as far as the liner went, so I went in with a black liner just to kind of deepen it up a bit more. And this is the vampy look that I got. So to set it all in place, I'm using my MAC Fix Plus, and this is in the lavender scent. I love this one, you guys. It smells so, so good and it works just like the rest. <laughs> so this is the final look you guys for this green eyeshadow using the Melt Cosmetics Smoke Sessions palette. I really like this palette. I think I might be a little bit different because I like difficult shadows, but <laughs> I like it. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!